if you are using a controller with Steam, I highly, highly, highly recommend you check this out. You will, you will not regret it because you're gonna get so many, so many options. As, at the time of this video, you need to be in Steam Beta. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. You just uh, go into settings of your desktop Steam client and select Beta Participation. So okay, with that said, we now have 360 controller support. Uh, the last beta, I did a video on that too. We still see it up there. We have the PS4 control configuration support. And we now also have generic gamepad supports. So this is actually pretty huge. <laughs> if, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know, I used to be the expatter guy. I loved expatter. I used it in pretty much every game. I like playing PC games with controllers. I like being able to map in all the inputs. The Steam configuration software, it, no contest. It blows everything else out of the water. It's come a long way. You can pretty much do anything you want. So, okay, enough rambling. I have not tested this. We are going to do it right now. So I'm turning the controller on. We see... Detected X input. So let's go... Uh, this will enable controller config. You must disconnect and reconnect any applicable after changing this wireless. It should be disconnected and reconnected as well. Okay, so let's do that, um, and let's follow the instructions. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna unplug my receiver. Plug it back in. Turn her back on. Okay, so now we're registering. Uh, register to this account. Bear with me, it's the first time I'm doing this. I wanted to show you this and we're gonna walk through it together, so okay. Rumble preference on submit. Okay, so now we have Xbox configuration support. What the hell does that mean? You don't understand any of this stuff? It's right here, we're showing, we got it. It's registered, boom, now it's coming up. So okay, we're good to go. Now, if you are unfamiliar with any of this, what this does, let's go, like, we can check. So, okay. This is what you will get used to seeing. This is the binding screen. And from here, you're going to be able to bind in anything you want. You can play basic controller stuff. You can bind in all the keyboard mouse functions to play, like... Arma or DayZ or, you know, something, a real-time strategy game, something that doesn't normally work very well with a controller, you're going to be able to make it. Like over here, we could change... Okay, so this, yeah, this is new to me. This is different. So joystick mouse, you can't, you're not choosing an actual mouse. They have made a different, this input will operate as a mouse. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I apologize if I'm a little unfocused. I kind of wanted to make a point in this one to just go through it blind. And now what I want to do is I want to test. Let's go into Arma 3, and we'll just test my... I made a very complicated binding, and we'll see how that ports over to the 360 controller. That'll be a nice test. So yeah, that's... It's pretty freaking cool, though. I mean, we you're getting a massive amount of customization in pretty much any controller now. Now, I will say, just one more little ramble. Since I was, con I was uh, accused of this in the DS4 video, it's like, yes, I, I prefer a Steam Controller. I will recommend a Steam Controller. I will tell you, you should use a Steam Controller. Steam Controller has more options. It's more accurate more binding choices. You have the back paddles, you have the clicks, you have the D-pad, which you can click in in the center. Also, like, it, a better gyro. So, yeah, that's... Get that out of the way right now. This is a cool feature, but I'm testing this. I'm still saying, go to the Steam Controller. It This software was designed for the Steam Controller. It's really cool that they opened it up to other stuff, but my two cents... I am a Steam Controller fanboy. It has proven itself to me, so that's out of the way. Let's hop into Arma 3. Okay, 
We are in Arma 3. I have done nothing. I just fired up the game and made sure a uh, big picture overlay was running, which you need if you want to configure the controller. That's another thing to pay attention to. Sorry. Uh, so what are we using here? All right, so yeah, it did. It automatically pulled up my. Um, it's using my profile from the Steam controller. Now, a lot of this is probably not going to work. Yeah, like what's going on? The direction pad. All right, so yeah, it's not going to be a perfect thing, but still, I mean, you're getting a lot in here, so let's. Okay, what I want to check is. Just to give you an idea of what you can do here. Hmm. Okay, so they took out touch menus. You get a radial menu if you want to use that. Let's just do something simple. One, two, three. If you watch my Arma 3 Steam Controller one, um, you can make like a a, gri a a touch menu that's a grid, square, different variations of square, not a circle. The circle was added in later, so. All right, so yeah. So you can get radial menu to fuss around with. Let's switch back. Oh, that's a problem too. All right, see, I'm I'm moving continuously. That's I need to adjust the dead zone on my stick because this is an old controller. We can do that pretty simply. Go into configure, joystick mouse. Let's go. Dead zone inner. Just give it a little bit of a dead zone in here. So you have it. You have near limitless possibilities here of what you can do so i mean using like this is kind of an extreme example this is a very complicated profile it is not designed for a 360 controller it was made for the steam controller and you can see it's getting a little weird which i mean hey beta is beta but what i want to show you is the kind of stuff this opens up is uh so here, like on X, you can do a regular press. Regular press is reload, and then I have long press is switch to my sidearm. You can do taps and holds. You can do cycle presses. You can do uh, turn holds into a toggle or turn a toggle into a hold. You can switch things all around. So let's... Uh, yeah. I tap it to reload... I hold it to switch between sidearm and primary. You're getting... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm saying it's better than x It, <clears throat> It has come a really... It's come a long way. You know, we get the, uh, get the touch menus. We get taps, holds, action sets. Like, you can see here how I switch between driving and flying. Like, you know... Clearly, for this particular one, I'd have to go through this and tweak things all around because I was, you know, the Steam controller has those paddles. Like, I was fussing around and making it work for that. But still, you're getting, you know, all this stuff is mostly working. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened up the game and used this. Now, if you're looking for... You're looking for things. You just go to the community. Now, why is what you'd need to do. Yeah. So there's, like, mine's showing up. Oh, that's cool. They even put in there that showing for the Steam controller. You know, as people use this more, it's going to get filled up with different controllers, you know, customized, catered to each controller. I would say, really, the only difference is going to be... Well, no. I'll, the Steam controller, like... 
360 Microsoft controllers and PlayStation 4 controller is going to be quite a bit different because the DS4, you have that whole touchpad up there. So yeah, I mean, as you're fiddling around, pay attention to that little disclaim the notification that's saying that it's for the Steam controller. So that's why things aren't working perfectly. But that's still, it's, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to just give this a brief overview and I understand this is way more rambly and unfocused than usual, which was kind of the point. I just wanted to give it a brief look. That feels inconsistent too. What's going on there? What does that? The hold. Huh, that's weird. Full, well, that, yeah, that's probably, because the Steam controller has dual-stage triggers, it's probably getting confused. Well, let's test that. Oh, it does work. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you can imitate a dual stage trigger. The full pull is my optic change. Soft pull. Wow, that that's neat. So that was the problem is that I was uh like that. Like I'm doing a full pull, it's not going to do anything cuz it's actually activating. I think it's reading it as uh, yeah, anyway, any work regardless. So that is pretty neat. I just figured that out. You can mimic dual stage triggers. So, all right. That's, yeah, pretty cool. Just wanted to uh, check it out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just, just say it again. This is currently only in Steam beta. I would probably give it maybe a month. Then it should pop up into vanilla. So it's a little fussy right now because it's beta. But it's pretty cool. I mean, that's it's an exciting development. Steam, I mean, and really, the Steam controller made this possible. And like I said earlier, I do still highly recommend Steam controller. But this is a really nice option to get you used to the configuration software. And it was, you know, simple to set up. So, okay, that is all I got. I will see you around. I felt like that was extra rambly. I guess I'm always rambly. But that was like, that was like uber rambly. See behind the scenes here? That's, that's, ta-da! That, that's what's going on. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. Is really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed! <laughs> the butt crawl! Do, 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 do. Yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs>